Well, it has been a very interesting debate today and very interesting uh, contributions, but, but I would like first to ask you a very concrete um, question about the topic of this conference, because it came originally from the Council of Europe, and I would like you to uh, probably repeat some of the, the main points you've made uh, today on your introductory speech about uh, the main challenges uh, to cultural policies today. Um, the subject which is discussed during this conference uh, is uh, very close to the core business of the organization that uh, we represent here. Uh, the Council of Europe has always tried throughout the decades to raise certain questions in anticipation, I would say, and to try modestly to provide some answers. It is clear that today we are confronted with a number of incredible phenomena which are making us more and more vulnerable and changing the basic uh, paradigms on which our societies are based. I can refer to all what we know already in the field of climate change, for instance, uh, in the field of uh, um, diversity, which uh, seems to raise uh, problems, at least in uh, some societies, uh, the inability to uh, deal with uh, many issues such as the financial and economic crisis. All these things put together make it so that basic question are needed on the issue of uh, what role for a culture uh, based on human rights, democracy and the rule of law, which have been, from the very beginning, the reference basic points for our organization. And culture, how can it be used uh, positively with a view to reinforce the values that we need in order to face up these challenges in the future? Uh, how culture can facilitate participatory processes so that everybody can try to share his own contribution to the solving of these problems and how the rule of law can also be helpful in putting some order in the things that we do so that they can be inscribed in time and be translated into laws, conventions, services, whatever. So this, in my view, is an excellent opportunity with all the incredible expertise that we have been able to put together to raise some of the contemporary questions and to try to start to anticipate the solutions for the future, trying to put culture uh, not in the background, but exactly on the opposite, in the front line, because only culture and an open, uh, critical way of thinking can help us in finding, as I said, modestly at least some answers to the many questions that this problem raises. Thank you. Uh, and uh, what will be the role of Culture Watch Europe uh, in this process of uh, uh, in this process that you have just described? Uh, because there are so many uh, different uh, issues, and uh, how Culture Watch can react to those issues? How you, you see its uh, uh, its role in the future? Can it be well, the Culture Watch Europe is simply a platform. It's a platform for many different groups: uh, governmental, non-governmental, uh, representatives from civil society, artists from across Europe, uh, our 50 member states who have joined the uh, European Cultural Convention, to express a view. And it is a kind of a focus uh, for debate on key themes, which are trying to look at issues concerning cultural shifts, uh, a renegotiated role for culture in relation to public policy, uh, how individual groups, whether they are based locally or nationally or internationally, should interact and relate to one another to try to collaborate in discovering solutions and facing up to the challenges. So Culture Watch Europe is an umbrella. It's not a movement per se, it takes into account all the existing instruments of the Council of Europe, but are watching and monitoring and looking at shifts and changes across Europe and trying to involve people in the discussions, uh, to animate, to provoke conversations and hopefully collectively come up to with a, a number of interesting further themes that can be developed and uh, persuade many, many people to, to subscribe to this notion of the importance of culture and the way in which it interacts with, with society today. 
And uh, how do you see uh, the follow-up actions of this conference uh, in relation to what you just said? Because what are the first steps which are going to be undertaken after this reflection and uh, potential contributions and proposals that we are looking for? What's interesting about this uh, conference itself, it's a collaboration. There is the Council of Europe, but many other parties, uh, European Commission, Culture Action Europe, the Budapest Observatory, the European Economic and Social Committee, uh, the UNIX structures, the Alliance Foundation, and each of these parties will be determining how best to move this agenda forward collectively. I think it's the first time where so many partners have met together to look at fundamental questions, big questions, which will result in a number of actions related to the Council of Europe around our basic themes of rights, uh, democracy and rule of law. The European Commission's interests are different relating this discussion to the global agenda for culture. So each partner, I think, will make its own decisions of how to move forward and stimulating many other partners. Uh, this is a, an open discussion, it's not a closed discussion, and we hope that those who are with us, the many hundreds of people who are with us in this conference, will take some of the inspiration and develop uh, ways in which they can provoke and continue the conversations within their own constituencies. Well, uh, Mrs. Delroy, do you have anything to add to this picture? <laughs> yeah, well, I uh, realize, as a matter of fact, that uh, one of the most important activities in the cultural field that we run, the Council of Europe, is this exercise of uh, setting policies in the cultural field first and foremost, and secondly, monitoring what happens in our member states. And we run this evaluation or assessment exercises of their national cultural policies. I'm sure that uh, many of the things which uh, uh, are going to be discussed here today and tomorrow will inevitably and positively so trigger and go into the uh, evaluation of national policies and by doing that they will certainly help us as evaluator but also the member states who go through these processes to start to add new questions when they deal with their own cultural policies. This is just an example, but obviously we have a number of other programs which uh, will certainly benefit from the discussions taking place here.